Hello everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Tonight I want to look at Trey Gowdy. Um, there is some speculation that his name might be in the running for Attorney General. So I'm just going to do a quick reading on that to see if the cards can corroborate that or what, or not. So let's move this aside. And I'm going to shuffle up and we'll get started. All right, so I shuffled up. Let's cut the deck. So is Mr. Trey Gowdy going to be our next Attorney General? Okay, so I have, this is for Trey Gowdy, this is for Other, and this is like the outcome. So for the first card on Trey, I've got like this, uh, this is just like, um, I feel like there's vying for position. So there could be a few more names that will be thrown out there. Um, but it does feel like there is somebody that is in the works, um, but there's a few other names that are going to come out in terms of that. Let's see what else comes out on this. For the other, I've got kind of the wait and see. And then this is for the outcome. It's like, um, we've got like the change of heart or change let me see what else we get. Let's keep going on this. So on this outcome, there's, this is giving up something to gain something. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a strong leader. Um, again, on top of that, struggle or vying for position, jockeying for position. We have a major arcana too here, but this one, the moon being like uh, reflective. And that's interesting because it's also on the wait and see, like reflective weight. Um, this is like the moon, the veil, what's underneath, what's hidden. Trey... So, a couple different ways I could look at this for Mr. Gowdy. Um, got that strong queen leader card on there. It's got the tower on the reversal. So, either if he is picked, it's going to be, um, it's going to have an impact of like a, a, a change, definitely, kind of a shake up. Um, doing things completely differently, um, shift in direction. Or if I interpret this as he's, that this means that he won't be selected um, based on the the kind of like the, the shifting of this tower card, this energy of um, topsy-turvy things going awry. But it did have a strong leader card there. So... For him, it's one of those two scenarios. Either he won't be picked, or if he is, it's going to be a, sh a real shake-up. Now, on top of both of these cards before, that wait and see, and then that illusion kind of sitting back and, and reflective, then it's got this giving back, the give and take card, and the give and take is giving back to this energy over here, this tower, the shake-up energy on the leader. Um, on the outcome, it's that get that sense of needing to give up something to gain something, a strategic move, like in a, like in a chess game, um, giving up a rook to gain position for your queen. Um, Something of that effect. It's like, and then we've got this two of pentacles is like indecisive, like needing to weigh a decision one against the other and make a, make a strategic determination based on careful consideration 
of what you're gaining and what you're giving up. So I guess it depends on whether Trump wants to go full on. I think Trey Gowdy would be a very big of a, sh uh, very much of a mover and a shaker if he was selected. Um, got the positive friendship card underneath. Um, this is an indication of things moving in a positive direction. Um, um, now, I wanted to focus on this real quick. Again, this other line here. Because we've had that, that weight card with the moon, the reflective card. And then the Six of Pentacles with that that give and take shifting back this direction. Because this was like Trey Gowdy, someone else. Is it going to be someone else? And what's the outcome? With this someone else, I've got the energy shifting back over here. Um, so I think it's possible that Trey Gowdy will be possibly selected. Um, nominated by Trump to be the next Attorney General. Um... I, the, just, I just, that energy moving back toward the tower, but the focus on that shake up. So um, if he is selected, it's going to really shift things around in the Department of Justice, um, probably change the focus on some things, um, probably change. Uh, I see that if, if um, Mr. Gowdy does, assume that role and that position. I do sense that he is going to shake up in terms of um, who's underneath him and who answers to him. It's like he'll probably do some restructuring of personnel, maybe firing people, hiring people, but there's going to be some change in, in the chain of command. Um, it's going to kind of trickle on down. I feel like he's going to, that's the shake up I see, is shifting that back um, shifting that energy of, uh, that's going to cause that. Uh, yeah. It's going to cause a real, real shakeup, real change. He would be a big change agent. He would, um, things would be done differently under him. That's for sure. So, okay. That's all I have for this reading. We'll see what happens. If, uh, if that is Trump's ultimate pick, uh, it does seem that way, but you never know with Mr. Trump. Um, he likes to dangle people out there, put names out there, and then he picks somebody that wasn't on anybody's radar. So <laughs> I always, uh, I always kind of keep my, um, I, I keep my expectations a little, uh, on edge with Mr. Trump. I try not to get, uh, my heart set on any one thing because you never know what he'll do next. That's my take on it. I appreciate you all stopping by my channel. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll make more videos. See you guys next time. Intuitive Edge, signing out. Bye-bye.